If we're looking for absorption of somewhere around 300%, right? If we're trying to get, if that's what we could get as a maximum out of our food, and that's what we got, we would probably maintain our reserve energy quite well. If that's what the ideal we got. But let's say somebody's already down. We need to try to get their absorption. We need to put more in than what they're daily debiting. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to increase this. Now, if we increase this real high, like we give them five grams of very absorbable calcium, their ability to pick that calcium will actually, the ability to pick it up will go up or down. Just reason through. Throw something out. What's that? I just said up. No, okay, so even a, a highly absorbable calcium, the more you administer, you begin to work against yourself because the enzymes that would normally break down that calcium have no way to break down that huge amount. So they become almost completely neutralized and it becomes a waste. So rather than making huge deposits, we're looking at making small deposits on a continual daily basis. So if we could focus on giving 300 milligrams as a, a baseline, and then adding somewhere from an additional 150 to 300 milligrams daily, then we're going to be making progress in the right direction, right? That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Now this is absorbed calcium, this is not calcium altogether in the full picture. Now, uh, daily calcium, the call has a very high absorption rate, it's probably not 100%. I give it a, high, uh, a figure that I think is probably on the low end of about a 50% absorption rate. Okay? It's only got uh, 300 milligrams of calcium in three te uh, capsules. But if that was 300 milligrams that was absorbed, or, or 150 that was absorbed, that's a great big chunk towards what we're trying to maintain. Does that make sense? If a cup of kale had 300 milligrams and we got 200 milligrams out of it, boom, we just got a huge chunk. Now, um, most people aren't going to eat a cup of kale a day, but good, I don't. I like when it's made it real young, and I don't like it in the summer. It's got to be, you know, early spring, late fall. Go ahead. Will cooking change the mineral content? Yeah, it will. It will, uh, especially if it's uh, boiled or like put in water. That water is going to take most of the. I mean, those are water soluble minerals that are going in that water. <coughs> those are the ones the body would take. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you? Now, that's something I wish you would clarify because I, I thought it was always that if you cook something, you're destroying the enzymes. I didn't understand that you're destroying the minerals, which are metallic. How could you destroy well, them? Okay, you're not necessarily destroying minerals, but in this case, she's putting uh, something into. Um, Water, that water is going, or I'm just using an example, I'm not saying you are, but, but you're putting something. Dissipates. Yeah, the, the nutrients yeah. are going to go into that Dissipates. water, and, and you're not going to go drink that water, at least most people oh, yes are. yes, I am. I love the kale water. <laughs> <laughs> I always drink the water. Well, you guys are, 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 are uh, not the norm. Right. But, I want you to drink the water <laughs> and drink it that way if you didn't want to eat it all. I'll say one other thing about cooking. Um, Nutrients, as they're found in the plant matrix, have electrical charge. They have electrical potential. When you cook them, they do change their potential. Because heating water, you're releasing energy through the water. And you are changing the charge of those elements. Regardless if you think it does or not, it does. And so you are going to change the absorption of those minerals. It could enhance your digestion of that plant but it does not necessarily enhance everything. It might enhance it if your body is really weak, but if your body is working optimally, then you're actually going counter what would be the best. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyhow, we're looking to increase this rate. Uh, if we make some, some uh, deposits through the use of something like Mincol, maybe we make some deposits through the use of something like Cal Lactate, or in, in my... In my uh, choice here with the calcium aspartate, uh, one, one capsule has 100 milligrams. Okay, so here's my point. If I'm getting 150 milligrams out of the uh, Mincol, and let's say I'm getting another 150 milligrams out of this, I'm taking six capsules a day. To me, that's about the maximum I want to put somebody on. All right? 
tablets have a worse digestive potential than your capsules, so at least with the calcium, you're probably going to want to stick with capsules. Okay? Because it takes energy to dissolve that capsule or that tablet. It's not going to take necessarily the same amount of energy to dissolve the, the capsule. All right. So with those six caps, I'm pretty much getting somewhere in the 350, uh, on the high end, a 400 range, okay? So I'm in a zone where I like, but I have not even begun to count the food consumption. Right? There's got to be some of the food I eat, I hope. So I'm in a range in which I'm comfortable. I'm only actually consuming, if we did the math, maybe six or 700 milligrams of calcium in supplement form a day, which seems like a rather low-end supplement, right? But the absorption is way greater than what we get up here. Does that make sense? Okay, is that a good way to stop? Is that something that makes sense? Yeah. Um, did you look at this chart? I only glanced at it. Well, it seems I'm, I'm just going to give everybody one and get you to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's close on that. Everybody comfortable?